In this problem, we have a beaker of water that we shine a laser pointer at the surface and notice that the light refracts or changes direction slightly. We take a picture and place a line over top in PowerPoint. According to PowerPoint, this line has these dimensions which corresponds to this triangle. Using the property of right triangles, Soka Toa, more specifically Toa, we get the angle is 57.85 degrees from the vertical line perpendicular to the water surface. This is normal to the water surface. We want to find the angle from the vertical line to the beam of light below the water surface. So first, what is going on? Well, if you recall from my inverse square law video, light from a source travels outwards from the source in the shape of a sphere. Once it hits the water, the sphere slows down, or in other words, the center point changes and the radius becomes larger. So now let's overlay the laser pointer. First, the laser travels out from the source as the sphere above the water propagates. Then it hits the water and starts to propagate from the source as the sphere below the water propagates. So in order to do this, it must change direction slightly. This refraction angle can be found by using Snell's law, which is the sine of the angle from the normal of the surface of the first medium divided by the sine of the angle from normal of the second medium is equal to the velocity of light through the first medium divided by the velocity of light through the second medium. I've listed the velocities I found on the internet on this slide. We can rearrange this formula to get what we are solving for, angle two to one side. Plugging in our numbers, we get an angle of 39.46 degrees. There is another version of this formula that uses the index of refraction designated with an m. The index of refraction equals the speed of light in a vacuum divided by the speed of light in the medium in question, which also equals the wavelength of light in a vacuum divided by the wavelength of the light through the material. The equation then is the index 1 times the sine of angle 1 equals the index 2 times the sine of the angle 2. It's worth mentioning that this experiment had some flaws, like the angle of the camera and the beaker was cylindrical, but hopefully it helped explain Snell's law. That concludes this video. Hope you have earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.